In early this month, New Yorker has published first person from Gaza Strip surrounded by Mossab Abu Toha, a young Palestinian poet who returned home after completing his graduate education United States. I live in my temporary house camp, waiting for ceasefire. Now, two weeks later, according to his colleagues, Abu Toha was reportedly detained by Israeli forces. A lawyer and Palestinian activist in contact with Abu Toha's wife, Diana Butu, said Washington Post on Monday that when he was arrested by the Israeli army at a checkpoint by the Israeli army, he was trying to release him southern Gaza with his family. Author Laura Albast, who is another friend and colleague of Abu Toha, said, Very frightening. New Yorker made a statement that called authors safe return in his daily and emphasized some of the latest articles for magazine. In early hours of Saday, magazine's web editor Michael Luo sent a note about worrying news in of upper editor David Remnick. On social media, he said that they had learned that he was arrested in central Gaza. The response of the magazine hit some of his colleagues including Abu Toha as Albist New Yorker late on Monday. New Yorker. Israeli forces reportedly reportedly contributed. He said, in particular, an idea bothers me and I don't item, Abu Toha wrote in the magazine last month. Am I there a statistics in the news? Abu Toha, who was at the beginning of his thirties, published his latest poem, Gazan Family Letters. 2092 in a series of magazines, including Poetry Magazine, Aerosmith and Nation. He also wrote an article for New York Times last month, after scholarship as a guest poet. He completed his master's degree at Syracuse University, which was also teaching assistant at the same time. Abu Toha also founded the public library in Gaza, the only English-language library in enclave. Butu. Abu Toha's family to evacuate from Gaza to get approval last week's contact with government contact with U.S. government. Smallest of three-year-old Mustafa was born United States and citizen. PEN America, Organization of Literary and Human Rights Advocacy, said, We wrote that poet Mosab Abu Toha, the founder of Gaza's only British-language library, was concerned with Israel's reports that Israel was detained by defense forces in Gaza. We are looking for more details and calling for his protection. Washington-based writer Jihad Abu Salim has known Abu Toha for years, and two of them have worked together on Light in Gaza Fire Right Writers. Poetry and writing captures the continuity of life in the face of many possibilities profession and recurrent aggression, he said in a telephone conversation. Mossab represents life for us. Of course. One does not have to be a famous poet to make a person's lives important. I'm he continued. On Monday, New York editor Daniel Gross shared poem of Abu Toha, published by the magazine at beginning of this month.